Yo, dude, isn't this like your 100th episode of Meme Cards? What intro are you gonna do? Good question. I think it'll just end with me looking into the camera and saying the usual thing. Well, that seems kind of basic. Don't you want to do something more special? Something more creative? Something you've always wanted to do? Well, there's one thing I always wanted to do. Who made you play artist? Told you what the worst card is. And you know the best part is? Yeah, we just getting started. 100 point aglaze. Wish you could do this all day. But not everything's balanced. So ain't everything with Vati. You can ask me anything. Tell you what I play. Oh, get heat wave. Cause the day I leave is a reckoning. You know me, I'm the recommend. MMR, come and get it then. I make every card relevant. Catch me spitting boss, plain win. Go cut, oh cut. It's all in my day. Smoke hot, talk hot, it's all in my deck. What else in my deck? What else in my deck? Cards. Well, what do you think? Man, that was trash! Get the hell out of here! God damn it! Gotta do everything myself here. Mean cards. Alright, so before this video starts, please leave a like for the effort that was put into this video. This has been quite a project in the making so thank you to everyone involved big shout out to glazed curtains and one of their members helping me produce the song big ups i will link their band in the description they don't really do rap but they do rock and you should definitely check them out so please do that and yeah also subscribe to this channel if you're not yet also follow me on twitch twitter discord all links will be in the description now let's move on with the video viper witcher deploy reveal the top card from your opponent's deck and banish it so this is it guys episode 100 of meme cards and i'm finally gonna be playing mill oh boy so, to those who don't know what the term mill means, it is the most stupid strategy in any card game, realistically, is where you force your opponent to draw every card that he has in his deck, or sort of basically force his deck to get empty, and then by the end of the game, he won't have enough cards to play. And mill exists in a lot of card games, and Gwent is no exception. Now, the thing is with mill in Gwent, it is complete and utter garbage. Because there are just no real points in this archetype, you basically just have to rely on the fact that you might win a round, but you are also kind of unlikely to win a round. So the idea here is we're gonna try and win a game here. I don't know how, for how many games I'm actually going to be trying with this, but we're obviously gonna have to see what we can do if we are able to mill our opponents to the max and maybe we can try and win a game. Very unlikely though. Very, very unlikely. All right, first match, we are up against Mahakam Forge. This is a hard matchup. You wanna go, you guys wanna know why this is a hard matchup? Well, I'll explain very short. Ooh, this is actually a good hand for round one though. This is a pretty insane hand for round one, to be fair. Okay. I kind of wanted more Duchess Informants, but this is fine, honestly. I can live with this. I can definitely live with this. So, dwarfs. Dwarfy dwarfs. Gotta go for the Operator into the Viper Witcher. And then we shall see what we can do after that. We're gonna set up our slow tempo first. And then we're gonna start playing actual tempo. We have to play this incredibly smart here, by the way. Like, incredibly, incredibly smart. It, this is gonna be really difficult. I'm also a little bit hungover here, so... Please excuse me if I do not play this optimally, this mill deck. I think I played this first. Oh, we banished the Oneromancy. I'm not sure we actually want to banish Oneromancy here. That actually doesn't seem like the play I want here. That actually seems kind of trash, to be honest. Okay, he's thinning his deck, though. That's pretty nice. I have no way of controlling this. I have to win round one somehow, but I'm kind of not playing any points here, if you guys haven't noticed. Have to play this back row. Banish the Berserker. Might as well. And I think next turn I'm going to have to play my Uarakax and start doing that nonsense with the Alchemists. I actually have to play A-Rush first. Okay, there's the Miner. 
I'm gonna play my A rush here. Play this for solid points. I still have reach with Volgaforts onto this, which is very nice. And now we can play Iwarakax for the living armor into the alchemists. This is a pretty crazy combo, honestly. So let's see what we can do. Iwarakax, what is it gonna get? <gasps> oh. We're playing against Aglais. Oh, and we forced out the Sienna. That's so good. That's such a good point swing. Oh, that's so good for us. Oh, that is so good, guys. Oh, but now he has the... Oh, look at the big Mahakam guard out here. That is pretty nuts, though. <laughs> he actually got, like, so good, such good value off of this as well. That's pretty funny. Maybe that wasn't the best situation to be in. Okay, but now we're playing, like... 10 point alchemists, which is very nice. Uh, maybe I should have clogged him there. I should have maybe played Cantarella at that point. Okay. Okay, we still have good reach here, I would say, with the Vilgaforts. So he passes. We just start bleeding him, right? Okay, we can do this with a leader charge. This is fine. Oh no, I forgot! This still boosts itself. Oh no! What have I done? Oh no! Oh no! No! I forgot this! Oh no! Oh man! No! I actually was in such a good spot, all I had to do was use my second leader charge. No! I actually... Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up way too hard there. Oh my god. How could this happen to me? No, I'm actually so pissed now. No, I actually for... Uh, I would have actually had a decent little position there. As well. Oh uh, no. I can't bleed the guy. Oh, and I don't have Tall Punish for Aglis anymore as well. Oh, no! Oh, ho, ho, whoa. What have I done to myself here? Oh, he's bricked his volunteers at least. That's nice. No, I actually completely threw the game. How did I just... Wow, I threw so hard there. Jesus. Actually, holy moly. Oh, he's got Petri's filter as well. Oh, he's super memeing. Oh, no. Oh, he banished the, the rebuke. That's pretty funny. Maybe I should play Tibor first. Actually, no, I should always play those first in case I banish a unit. That's actually kind of... Oh, wow. No, dude. Can you... Oh, man. If I'd used leader and had Vilgefort's last day, I could have actually won this game. That's so sad. I'm actually so sad right now. Holy crap. Oh, maybe he has Aglais in deck still. Nah, there's no way, right? There's no way, right? That he has Aglais in deck still. Oh, he just has the Mahakam volunteers. I mean, his Aglais is pretty big. We do get a unit as well now to interact with, which is nice. Oh, some no unit nonsense. You love to see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Does he play Heat Wave? He might actually play Heat Wave, honestly. This guy is super greedy, Aglace, so that's kind of funny. Oh boy. Let's just hope he doesn't have Heat Wave. Yeah, I guess I have to play around the fact that he might heat have Heat Wave. Actually, no, I'm not going to play around Heat Wave at this point anymore. I actually don't care. I actually don't care. I need to, I need to play for my win condition. And that is Aglace not being big enough, but Aglace is pretty f***ing huge. Oh uh, no! Oh, last card, Aglis. Uh, come on, come on, Arosh, carry me, baby. Carry me, baby. Carry me. Can we win? Can we win against the Aglis? Can we win against the Aglis after throwing the game super hard? It's gonna be. It's gonna be quite close, actually. Actually, no. It's not even gonna be remote. Oh my God! This isn't even close. This isn't even close, dude. His Aglace is huge, it's 50 points, dude. It's actually- he's actually playing Petri's filters. Jesus Christ. Playing against Enslave. Enslave a deck that actually has, like, points. 
how do we deal with points? Like, actually, how do we deal with that? Mulligan you. Oh. Okay. Um. Also mulligan the living armor. What is this hand? What actually is this hand? This hand is horrible. I'm missing every Duchess Informant. I'm missing every Alchemist and the Oarakax combo. This ain't looking too good, boys. This ain't looking too good. Let me tell you that. I need to Roderick. I need to Roderick high roll here, basically, right? I think the Roderick high roll is probably the best idea. We could also, like, coup de grasse the Roderick if we miss. So what does he play here? Art Feign Tortoise. So do I start milling now, in the case that I do find Arturius Vigo? I think I should start this first. As I said, in case I do find the Arturius Vigo. I don't actually have enough soldiers to synergize with battle preparation, but I actually have no idea what else to play with it. To be honest. Oh no, I'm getting milled now! Stop! Don't mill me! That's, you're, that's not supposed to happen! That's not supposed to happen here. Hello, sir? That's illegal. That's an illegal play right there. Maybe I need to play Enslave as well. Maybe Enslave is better. Because it's just more points and I can use it in round one. Maybe I should change this to... Oh, we got Leo Bonhart. That's a tad bit annoying. Alright, find Warakax. Okay, we do find this guy. Which is... Eh. It's not the greatest. It ain't the worst either. Oh, we banish a battle preparation. Such a good target to banish here. So I guess we play Tibor next. I mean, he might be... Wait, is he in Slave 5? Oh, he is in Slave 5. He passes. Interesting. Why would you pass against Mill? Isn't that the one thing you shouldn't do? No, I can just Mill you. Isn't that like... Number one no-no against Mill to never pass against it and just to owe it because now I can kind of just mill this guy. Oh, look at this hand! Now I just need alchemists and I'm happy. Okay, don't want this. That's okay. That's all right. I can live with this. Let us see what the Warakax gives me. Oh, ho, 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 baby, give me the, give me that usurper, dude. It's my usurper now. <laughs> no, stop doing that. That's not fair. You don't, don't do that. Bad, bad, bad player. Bad prosnik. Not allowed. This is, this play is not allowed, sir. Come on, show me your ball, dude. Joaquim. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, that is a good Vilgefort! But for the moment, I think I can do this. <laughs> Look at the points! What was that? A 12 point alchemist? Insane! Imagine having cards this good. Oh, dude, we can fully mill this dude. And then have no points for the next round. But that's so worth it. That's actually so worth it. Let's go, coop the grass, let's go! What, what are we getting here? Oh, we're getting a poison, dude! Oh, we can poison this and then Vilgefort's it. Oh, he only has six cards left in his deck. Oh, no, I had to stay ahead of him, I had to stay ahead of him by five. That was a really bad Cantarella, by the way. Purified. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we banished the assassination. That's so good, everything is so good. We're still gonna lose. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, there's the ball. That's good. Huh. What if I pass here? What does he got left? Like, what actually does he have left? He has a coup de grass, probably. Dude. Dude, we just pass here, right? This is an easy. Ah, uh, but he still has leader, I guess. I wanna see what this does. I kinda wanna bleed out more stuff out of him. I kinda wanna keep Vogelforts. Like, if I can get good cards out of him, that's fine. Oh, this is a poison. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me more poison. Oh, I gave it Doomed, which means it boosts the Thirsty Dame. Does he even have any Aristocrats left? It feels like he kind of played all of them. Menno? Two. Wait. Oh, he might... Is he... He might be Devotion if he's playing Bonhart. 
he might actually be Devotion. If he is playing Bon Hart, so he might have Amnesties. If he has Amnesties, we just win, right? I think I pass here. It's a bit of a risky pass since he still has Leader and all that, but... If it's Amnesty that I'm looking for, it's Amnesty I'm playing around, right? Like, I guess there was no reason to actually play the Volgaforts in that situation. Okay, we get a Bronze card. Okay, that's a bit nice. Oh, he has one card left in his deck. We can actually see what his card is. Oh, look at that. Look how good that is, guys. It's so good. Oh, we can bat we can discard his- We fully milled! We actually we actually accomplished the mill. We actually accomplished the mill. Can you guys imagine? Actually accomp- Oh, but we play into the amnesty there. Oh, imagine we would have been able to coop the grass that. That's so good. That is actually so good. I'm gonna bleed this here. Oh no. He's playing around the bleeding. But he's giving me a bigger Vulgaforts. Could this be it, ladies and gentlemen? The uh, No, we're not gonna win this. There's no way we win, right? We can't keep up here. We're just lacking points. But maybe his last cards are like thinning cards. No, one's an ass ass. Huh, that's kind of sad. I guess we play an 11 here. Uh, and he gets leader here, so... I wonder what his last card here is, though. Maybe I should have kept bleeding him, honestly. Maybe he wouldn't have had a unit to play. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. Maybe I could have... Maybe I should have used Vilgaforce in round 2. Maybe he didn't have any units left for round 3. That would have been quite funny. That would have been quite funny. We did accomplish the mill though. We did actually accomplish a mill. That was a successful mill. Alright, we're playing against Hidden Cash. Hidden Cash. How do we beat... Do we, we don't beat Hidden Cash ever. Like, there is literally no way I think we physically can beat Hidden Cash point-wise. I mean, we can always try, but trying is the first step to failure. Oh, dude, this hand is actually insane if we had Oneromancy and Uarakax or Operator. Oh, dude, we're always missing like one puzzle piece. That's the that's what I hate about Mill. You're always missing some something with it. I mean, we could get we can try to get lucky with Roderick. I guess it's not a terrible idea to get lucky with Roderick. I feel like. Oh, we can we can banish his Spender or his Slice of Doctors. I think Slice of Doctors is scarier than the Sea Jackal. To be perfectly honest here. Oh, MK. Oh, that's a problem. That might become a problem. Our Cantarell doesn't play for good cards here. None of our cards play for good cards here, since there's three bronzes on top of this guy's deck, which makes me very upset, to be honest. Maybe he bleeds me in round two. Maybe you just bait people into bleeding mill, and you just win with, like, Vilgaforts and stuff. He's playing Azar this round. Interesting. That is quite fascinating. Okay. I, I mean, the problem is I know his thought. Like, I'm literally, like, I'm not milling him here. I'm actually, like, thinning out bad cards for him. And that's a problem. What if I just pass here and say, I, I will I will find your best cards, sir. I will I will play your passive flora through my Cantarella. How does that sound, guys? That sounds like a plan, right? That sounds like a, a super plan, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. That's the hand I want here. A rush as well. Is there any brick? I mean, there is one brick. That's not good. So I think I keep this hand though, in the hopes that I do find operator off of my Roderick here. I mean, you don't usually too old me here. I think you should just go for the long rounds. Alright, so he's clocked himself here. Do I play the Iwarakax or do I play the Roderick first? I think Cantarella is my best one at the moment. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Yo, we got the Jack! We actually got Jack! Oh, what a hit! What a hit from Cantarella there! That is absolutely insane, bro! That's a cheat. And that is an actual cheat. Okay, so this could be our Vilgaforts target for the moment. 
Just for the moment we do this, I guess. We clog his side of the field here. We get the operator, which is nice. We can do this now as well. Start milling him properly now. Okay. Then I might actually use leader in this round and coop the grass for Roderick into Vilgefortz. Because I need to I need to get value off of my A rush, right? Actually I can get I still can still get value off A rush without having to use leader because I can I can use Arturius Vigo to assimilate here. Alright, I think now I just play Vigo here into the Duchess Informants for my good old Viper Witcher. Banishing a street urchin here, which is quite nice. So we play A Rush next. That Jack hit is actually so big. That is probably the biggest hit of tonight. Dude, we might actually win this. Like, I'm not even joking here. Like, this is not looking terrible for us. This is actually looking quite decent for us, if I'm honest. The problem now is Uarakax is kind of- Actually, no, Uarakax isn't bricked! It just doesn't mill, right? It just doesn't mill. It just plays for 14. That's insane. Oh, we banished the passive floor as well! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, we actually like fully milled this guy. We actually almost fully milled this guy, that's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I want my Vulgaforts on the Saul. But I think for the moment I play my Uarakax into the living armor. Not being able to mill him here, but that's fine. Still plays for decent points. Payday. Why does he not hit the living armor? That's a bit of a weird play. So I do this now. Do I get ahead of him here as well? I could get ahead of him, honestly. Is there a reason for- is there a reason for this? Is there a good reason for this? For me to do this? So, I'm getting 11 points here, which puts me on 63. Which is enough to keep up with Saul. And then I can Roderick into- I can coop the grass into Roderick into Vilgefortz. Pretty much insured, right? Because I have full leader now. Actually, no, I think I wait. I think I wait here, actually. Because I want to play my, my next Wiper Butcher here still. Oh, Tavern Brawl. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's huge, actually. Alright, so what's my... Oh, Wiper... Oh my god, dude. Wiper Witchers be wiping this guy's... Things out, you know? Okay, so Vilgefortz here... Should play for enough. I mean, it depends on what he gets here, but... Okay, that's okay. Does he get any... He gets two passive points off of Von Hurst. So we're tied now, which kind of sucks. No, we're actually tied, aren't we? Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Okay, so... This guy's not gonna draw a lot of stuff here, though, anymore. And we could kind of, like... Hope for the Tibor finisher to be enough because we got his Jack. Wait, he played everything at this point, right? It seems like he played everything now. Ooh, Oneromancy could be good. So I actually can mulligan the Coupe de Grass if I have Oneromancy in hand here. I mean, the, the Alchemist never gains any value here, right? No. Unless he has poison, I guess then it can gain value. So do I start with Wiper Witcher first or do I want to Coupe de Grass? Wiper Witcher could make my T bore better. Wiper Witcher could actually make my T bore better. Okay. That's a three point unit banished. What does he have left? If he has a slice of Ductress, that's not terrible. He has no more pass. I banished his passive flora, his heat wave. Got rid of his Jack. Bro, I got rid of his top three cards here. That's actually kind of cheating. And we still might lose though. I guess I do this here. Never gained the coins though, which is kind of sad. I mean, he could have waited for a better Slice of Doctress, but I don't think he wants to. I mean, if he plays Slice of Doctress now, I guess that's a misplay then. Okay, we lose by like one point there. Alright. I guess I'll go Alchemist next and hope Tibor is enough. Oh, look at the power swap here. It shouldn't be enough, honestly. There's no way it is enough. He has Sea Jackal still, right? A few Sea Jackals. Bank. Oh! 
Bank. For poison. Maybe it's a dead poison. I mean, he has ways to spend, right? So that's a... It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I mean, we'll still lose this. But we, we milled him yet again. We actually, like, accomplished what we tried. And in the end, it just wasn't enough. Even against bronze cards, it just isn't enough points. Like, we lose by 10 points for God's sakes, and he had literally just had bronze cards in his hand there. We're playing against... Uh, oh, I forgot what his leader is actually called. Uh, Reckless Flurry. Jesus. How did I forget that? I don't know. But I did forget it. B sue me. Okay, 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 we got a nice little Wiper Witcher heavy hand. Uh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't mind those, honestly. Um, Tourney Joust. Tourney Joust doesn't really do much against Skellige a lot of the times. A Rush could be okay. I guess I don't need... I mean, if I find, like, Iwara because the uh, Mulliganing Alchemist is just a throw here. Okay. So we start with the Operator into the Wiper Witcher and just start spamming Wiper Witchers. Seems good. And then we probably TA the Arturius Vigo. Okay. You will not regret this. Okay. Her grace will not I mean, this is a, a little bit of a problem. Wait, he's playing Freya. That's interesting. Why would you play Freya in that deck? Very interesting. What golds though? I have a lot of golds here still. Oh, he has double boat. Oh, that's really bad for me. Double boat is like death to me because like I can't actually deal with these engines. This is horrible. Just a peek. That is all I need. Oh, we banished the priest. That's so good. And we might actually have to pass here. Actually, no, we can still play Cantarella probably. Oh, but you're never allowed to pass with this deck, are you? What kind of deck is he? He's played this back row. What's going on here? <laughs> we win! We actually win a game! I mean... I don't know how that happened, but we actually won a game! I'll take it! Alright, uh... I was, I was very close, this close to ending the episode there, but... I was like, eh, why not? Why not just keep going here? Might as well. You know, what do we got to lose? Um, except, you know, this game probably against the tier one overwhelming hunger. <laughs> actually, tier one. Uh, actual, actual tier one deck, guys. Uh, okay, Mulligan battle prep here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, go for the... Oh, oh! I can, I can Cantarella the Heat Wave. I can actually probably. I, I think taking out Larva is good here, and we can heat. We can Cantarella into Heat Wave, which is absolutely insane. Cantarella into Heat Wave seems pretty nuts, honestly. Okay, there's the first Larva, so he has no more Larva after that. I think we can just take care of that, honestly. Watercax doesn't uh, shuffle the deck again, does it? Okay, there's Bruxa. This is pretty nice. Value on my alchemist. Oh, we get the debt laugh out as well. That's actually really good. In round one. The question is, is he gonna consume it now? <gasps> no, not Geralt. I hate portals. Okay, I guess I can Cantarella for the heat wave then. It's a 15 point heat wave. It's pretty good, I'd say. But the fact that he got our uh, Big boy out is a bit annoying because now we have these dead alchemists which actually don't play for anything. Oh, this would have been actually so good. We would have been in a very nice position here. But no! Why? Why would I ever be in good positions here? With this deck at least. Man, uh, not getting value on alchemist is so bad. Uh, but I can't play defender just for that. That's like, that's the dumbest idea ever. Oh no, now we're gonna lose. Oh, uh, that one Geralt just counters my entire strategy, bro. So sad, man. So goddamn sad. We lose on even as well now. I think we just play bad cards here. Should I have used, I guess I should have used, actually no, even using, I had to use two liter charges here. Is he gonna pass here? I mean, they got rid of his heat wave, but heat wave actually doesn't do anything. Apart from banishing my, his dead laugh. Alright. Sure. 
I mean, we just lose on even here anyway. It's like it's a tad bit annoying. He does not have that much thinning anyway as well. He just like draws his cards. Oh man, ah, the Geralt hurts. This isn't even enough points. I, I can't actually do this with the two bronzes that I have. Because I'm down by 12. Actually, I'm, I was down by 13 in that situation. Actually, I was down by more because of the bleeding. There was so many points to be missed. And now we're on even and now we lose. Now we just lose, guys. Why do we lose? Why can't we ever win? Oh god. So we can go a Neuromancy for Wiper Witcher, which actually isn't even that good, to be honest. But like, what else are we going to do here? This is like, this is round one strategy, but like, we couldn't get it round one. Like, everything just fell apart after that one turn. We had, we were in such a good position. And then one card to absolutely ruin our day. I'm sad, guys. I'm, I'm disappointed that Monsters is such... A rude faction. Such a rude faction, honestly. They don't know their manners. They need to learn manners, honestly. Oh, Neromancy. Okay. You got me. Okay. He ate my boy. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess I can continue playing, but is there any, like, reason for me to continue playing here? I guess I can try and win with the Vilgeforts. Hope that's enough, but there's no way that's enough, right? But he stunned his deck there. Maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, banish the four provision card. Make his cards better. Man, that Geralt turn just ruined our lives. Completely ruined our lives. Oh, eat the Weigern, dude. Don't eat the hunter. Come on. Why are you eating rider? Riders don't even taste that good. Okay, I guess we go T boy here. Seems okay. Oh, look at the five point Nagelfar Taskmaster. At least he doesn't have any tall punish anymore. We know that much. But I guess he could still have like Maruna or Goliath. <gasps> Goliath? Goliath could be, be. Could actually kind of help us here. Oh, unless he gets Afan out. If he eats Goliath now and gets Afan out, we're actually very sad. I mean, is he just gonna 2-0 us here? I mean, I guess so, right? Like, he still has Osril and stuff. Well, killing the Goliath actually isn't worth that much. Anyway. Hi, we're down by, like, around, like, 30-something points here. Yeah, I don't think this Vilgefort swing is gonna make a difference. Like, actually not. I mean, there's no point in not 2 0ing here. Or, yeah, he just passes, right? Like, it's the easiest pass of his career. Like, you're never gonna lose if you pass here, right? Like, either you win or you, you win. <laughs> there's literally no, like, doubts. Uh, I guess he goes for the Osril. <gasps> oh, this is a big Vilgefort's target, isn't it? 21 points. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see. It's okay, 21 points. Gets the Noonwraith out. You hate to see it. And yeah, leader's just not enough here. Dude, we got overwhelmed by this overwhelming hunger list. But yeah, we were on red coin and he had Geralt for our Goliath. So, uh, not Goliath for our living armor. So yeah, I guess that's just game over at that point. So yeah, this is why I hate playing Mill because you're just losing games to certain matchups that just don't play for, like, consistency or just, like, play for, you know, points, like, monsters or even maybe Skellige. Like, Northern Realms also kind of doesn't thin that much. A lot of decks don't really thin that much these days. There's no, like, hyper-thin nonsense going on. And this deck kind of just, like, has no points as well. Like, if your living armor gets answered, like, you lose so many points off of, like, one card, which is the Alchemist. And Coupe de Grass, I guess you can replace Coupe de Grass for something like Heatwave, maybe. That probably is a lot better than Coupe de Grass, but I like Coupe de Grass because you can replay Cantarella or like find more gold options with Roderick, which is pretty decent. And yeah, in general, like, you know why Mill is bad, and I don't really actually need to explain why Mill is bad. And finally, I actually played Mill, so there you go. I hope you're happy now. And yeah, that was the 100th episode of Meme Cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwent content, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.